The conference definitely uh, still underway. A uh, lot of sessions being held throughout the day. And uh, earlier on today as well, we were able to see uh, a car of uh, a small group of people whom were anti the conference where we are at right now. Um, we've done a short interview with them as well, which will probably be on SABC channels uh, too. But I think most importantly, coming out of the sessions uh, today was the importance of education, such as yesterday, also creating awareness and um, mostly a sense Advertising upcoming doctors and nurses to ensure that going forward, specifically in South Africa as well, we have medical facilities and medical uh, operators and people offering these services that are more educated and are sensitive around the social ills and uh, the societal ills that people have to face, um, especially those that drive women to actually make this decision. I think most important though, especially here in South Africa, Mary Stopes running a very huge role in terms of offering the service to women, even though it may seem that it might be uh, the elite whom can afford we're going to speak to Whitney Whitney I think tell us a bit more uh, about um, you know what is it that Mary Stopes does to ensure that when women do come to uh, the facilities or the health uh, uh, places um, of you know seeking for an abortion mm -hmm. how are the staff trained to actually deal or educate and also to be able to be sensitive towards the issue. Okay, so I'm actually going to start by saying our services are not for the elite. Our mission is to provide services to all women. And once you come into a Mari Stopes clinic, we do not turn people away. You know, we uh, go the extra mile to try and serve you. Um, what we do do, though, is values clarification around being pro-choice and providing a non-judgmental, friendly, uh, client-centered service is a big part of our training for our providers. And uh, that is something that we really focus on. That is something that is really important uh, to us. Uh, we have a trained training uh, people who work quite hard to make sure that we have no providers that are anti-choice within our facilities. So that is a big, big part of it. And you know, once a provider starts providing the service, they're just going into a training where they have to learn about it. People who are anti-choice come out on their own and the people that do stay within Maori Stopes are pro-choice and are uh, value women. I think very, uh, I mean, sorry, Whitney. Mm -hmm. I think very also important, um, Whitney, is that once someone does come to a Mary Stopes uh, clinic, mm -hmm. um, apart from the fact that you may have to pay for the service, yeah. what are some of the programs that you guys are running, um, you know, with the prospective uh, governments or local governments where I know you guys have a number of clinics uh, throughout South Africa. Mm -hmm. What are some of the programs that you guys are running to maybe try and bridge the gap for those whom can't afford? Okay, so... Being a service provider, one of our key uh, things is advocacy and education to women, right? And we try and reach as many women as possible. So not just the women around our centers, we like to work with other organizations that work at grassroots levels uh, to spread the word. Um, we do also partner with uh, provincial governments, uh, Western Cape to be specific, where they refer women who require a service to Mari Stope centers and the government pays for it. So we have various initiatives running that we try and reach as many people as possible. And then uh, lastly, uh, coming out of today's sessions, um, it has been reiterated how important it is uh, for the medical field, especially while the upcoming doctors and nurses are actually studying, to try and at least have some sort of theory or method to sensitize them around the issues mm -hmm. that women and girl children actually face in their communities. Mm -hmm. That is very, very important. I think it's something that uh, people like the South African Medical Students Association have recognized. We have partnered with them on a number of initiatives to try and um, sensitize the people that are training. So we host workshops, we go and we give talks and just to give context of the things that they will face once they're working in the community but it is very very important and I think you know right now we have a lack of trained medical providers who can actually provide a safe abortion uh, method um, so this is very very important to us Whitney thank you so much for your time thank you well there we have it uh, also coming out there very strongly that it is very important that we have um, caregivers that are very sensitive around the issue uh, it's also being said in these sessions that there are uh, as organizations also trying to reach out to a larger and broader perspective of community members also trying to educate uh, your uh, midwives and nurses around the issues that they might not be able to get round to during their uh, theoretical studies.